I first grabbed this plastic egg tray from Dollar Tree. It was in their party section. And I am just using some black spray paint. This is just some inexpensive spray paint that I believe I got from Home Depot or Walmart. I just sprayed both sides of that egg tray. Go ahead and let that dry. I then got these plastic eggs also from Dollar Tree. For a base coat, I will be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. The reason I'm using chalk paint rather than acrylic paint is because these are plastic, so the chalk paint will cling better to these eggs rather than acrylic paint. So you wanna just paint 14 eggs with two coats of the Waverly plaster and then allow everything to dry. Once those are dry, now I'm using two different colored acrylic paints. One is in the color Moccasin Brown. The other one is in Latte. So now you wanna just paint all of those eggs, seven in the Moccasin Brown and seven in the Latte with two coats and then allow that to dry. I then got this image off of Google, just Google farm fresh eggs and just print it out using your regular printer. In the center of that, egg tray i'm just going to put a generous but even amount of mod podge place that image right on top smooth it out with your fingers to make sure that there are no air bubbles and that everything is completely adhered let that dry and then go over it again with another layer of mod podge let that part dry and now i'm going around the cut edge of that image because i wanted to hide it with a little bit of Mod Podge, and then I'm just going over it with some cinnamon. Dab that cinnamon with your fingers to make sure it is adhering to the Mod Podge. Let that dry, and then go over the dry Mod Podge and cinnamon with another layer of Mod Podge to make sure that cinnamon is all adhered. Next, I got some Spanish moss, also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to begin hot gluing the Spanish moss in between each of those egg trays. And using a finger protector always helps. I got that pink finger protector also from Dollar Tree. Next, you want to just grab your painted eggs and just start placing them all inside of the trays. And I am interchanging the colors. I didn't want two of the same colors next to each other. Once I had all of those put down to where I want, I just began hot gluing those so that way they don't fall off of the egg tray. And just look at how cute this is. I love it. Next, I'm just creating a bow using this red and white buffalo check fabric. Just make an awareness ribbon out of it, scrunch it up in the middle, and then I'm just tying it off with another piece of ribbon. So I originally had 15 eggs on here, but two of them were the same color right next to each other. So I ended up just taking that 15th one off and then just filled in that hole with a little bit of Spanish moss and then hot glued that bow right on top of that section. And that's why you only need 14 eggs. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.